Today we're going to take a look at the new FCX24 Smasher V2 from FMS Model. But this isn't just any Smasher, this is the Silver Eagle mod which is available exclusively through FairRC.com. I want to give a big thanks to the FairRC team for sending this truck out for me to feature here on the channel. In October of 2022, you guys saw me unbox the original Max Smasher, and since then, FMS has changed its name and updated the platform. You can see they tweaked the box art to include the new Smasher name throughout. In the box, you still receive the same tools, USB charger, battery, preload clips, plastic lockers, and O-ring kit to fill the shocks with oil, but now they include an updated instruction manual, a new transmitter, and the modified Smasher V2. This Silver Eagle mod has a special silver and black paint job on the original body with some pretty cool graphics as well. What's nice is you can even select whether or not you want the decals to come pre-installed when you purchase one. The new three channel transmitter that's included has a few cosmetic changes including a new foam steering wheel which I can already tell you feels much better than the old plastic wheel. They also redesigned the controls located on the top of the transmitter. Instead of the combination of buttons, switches, and dials that we saw on the original radio, we now have just six buttons to control all of your basic settings. The on and off switch below those and the channel 3 switch on the side to shift the two-speed transmission. Since there is no channel 4 button anymore to control the LED headlights, you now control those from the top of the radio. Jumping into changes throughout the truck itself, the tires now have Lunar Rambler written on them instead of Max Smasher technology. On the front of the truck, you'll notice a new servo saver that should definitely help improve durability compared to the old servo horn that originally came on the V1. Inside of the truck, there's a new ESC receiver and LED light controller unit that has the on and off switch mounted up front instead of on the side in the wheel well like the V1. The V2 also has a nicer rubber battery strap rather than the thin rubber band that FMS used to run. The last notable change is the Smasher V2 only has bearings included throughout key parts of the axles and transmission, unlike the V1, which was a full ball bearing setup. So some bearings were swapped for bushings, but in such a small vehicle, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. If you want to see how the stock Smasher performs out of the box, you can check out the first video I did with this platform back in 2022. For this video though, we're going to spice things up and throw in a high speed kit, which is also available through fairrc.com. This kit includes a high speed brushed motor, a heat sink to keep your temps down and a special lipo battery that comes without a protective circuit module or PCM installed. To install the high speed motor you simply remove the four screws holding in the transmission. Once these have been removed and the motor is unplugged from the ESC you can lift the transmission out of the truck but you have to be careful so you don't bend the shifting linkage that's connected at the bottom. It takes another four screws to open up the transmission then you can remove the two screws that mount the motor. After snapping the heat sink on the new high speed motor it's a direct fit and everything goes back together the same way it came apart. When you're finished you might have to reverse the throttle on your transmitter in order to get the truck going in the right direction. This high speed kit really wakes the smasher up. I threw a dynamite passport GPS in the bed of the truck to get a rough idea of how much faster it goes. When I ran the truck in low gear with stock motor installed it wasn't quite fast enough to register on the GPS and in high gear I ended up getting four miles per hour as the top speed. After installing the high speed kit the truck truck was able to reach 2 miles per hour in low gear and a whopping 9 miles per hour in high gear. Now of course since the truck is so small you can assume the GPS weighed it down a bit and might have affected the top speed slightly but still that means the high speed motor is over twice the speed of the stock motor in both first and second gear. With such a small platform 9 miles per hour feels pretty quick and allows you to do so much more with the truck. Instead of just falling with style like with the stock motor, this high speed setup gives you enough power to actually jump the truck and do flips if you want.
you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next video.